Hello there, fam bam. Welcome back again to my channel. So, this vlog is a very special vlog kasi dedicated po siya sa lahat ng mommies out there. So, happy Mother's Day po sa inyo lahat. So, again, this vlog is going to be all about uh, being a mom and being a parent as uh, as general. And yung mga sacrifices na mga mommies natin then before and yung mga sacrifices din natin for our children now. Um, kaya, we will talk about it all in this vlog. Okay, so first of all, um, uh, tomorrow is going to be uh, Mother's Day. For, so, binabati ko po lahat ng mga mommies. Happy Mother's Day po sa inyo lahat. And uh, let's just talk about um, the, the meaning of being a mom or ano yung role of being a mom. Actually, people are expected for you to be the perfect person, the perfect mom na hands-on ka palagi sa mga anak mo. So, they're expecting that. Basta naging mother ka, yun ang unang-unang hahanapin sa'yo. So, actually, yun nga, I'm just saying this based on my experience. Hindi ko sinasabi yung ginagawa ko ay tama or yung mga ginagawa ko ay mali. Uh, this is just my own perspective. So, being a mom, yes, it is, kailangan po palaging nandun kayo para uh, ma-guide niyo yung mga anak niyo. There are some cases or some situ situations na um, you are not always available or nasa ibang bansa ka nagtatrabaho, iniwan mo yung yung mga kids mo. So it's it's you know some situations is out of our hand. Pero what we can control and what we can do about it, we should uh, take advantage of it. So in my case, that my kids are with me here, thank God, dito sa abroad. So I'm blessed to have them with me all the time. Nakikita ko sila na paano sila lumaki, how their personalities develop, and uh, nandito ako to guide them. Um, it's very important that you will you are always in the picture. Kasi there will be a time that your kids will grow up and, you know, we have to face the fact that they will have their own world. They will have their own um, things that they will get busy with. So, sa times na, na, na they are still young and they are in need for your help, just be there. Just always have time to be with them, bond with them in, in, in any kind. Kahit mag video games kayo kasama ng anak mo, it is also one uh, one of uh, one type of bonding. Um, mag usap kayo. It's very important that you have an open communication with your kids. Um, I'm sure there are times na mag sasabi something na hindi mo magugustuhan. Na for sure that you would get mad and you would react on the things that they would say. Uh, my advice is just to try to hold your temper. Um, hindi ko sinasabi na you have to uh, agree on everything that they're saying. Yung parang uh, kinoconsent mo lahat yung mga ginagawa nila. No, of course not. There are limits. Pero as much as possible, you would train them to tell you everything. So if they're bound to tell you something and you will get angry agad, it will build uh, an experience to them that uh, you, you know they would get scared of telling you stuff and in na magsasabi sa yo they would tell it to other people siguro sa mga friends nila and maybe your their friends are not that experienced to give uh, well advices and the, it will lead na magkakaroon ng um or mapapahama ko yung anak mo so, as much as possible, train them to tell you everything kasi kayo po ang nakakaalam kung um, what makes them okay or what makes them a better person by giving them the right advices. So, this is what I'm saying that hold your temper, listen what they have to say, and pagalitan, ni, pagalitan niyo after. But after that, you have to explain to them. They have the right 
to know why you are mad and why you are upset so you have to explain to them in a way or in a simple way that they would understand um the, uh, the thing is uh, kids nowadays are very uh clever very smart hindi sila katulad ng mga panahon natin that they have a wider perspective of life a wider understanding so kahit in a younger age you are very you would be surprised kung gaano sila ka uh, mature din mag -isip. they have this tendency to understand what you're saying so give the time to explain to them why are you mad or why you're upset on the things that they say and back it and why it is wrong uh, i remember i'm not saying this because uh, sinasabi ko na yung mga dating ways na mga mommies natin, uh, it's wrong. Things are developing. Everything is changing by time. So, dati ang sinasabi ng mga mommies natin na, basta mali siya. That's it. So, it, it builds in my mind, bakit siya mali? Anong, hindi ko maintindihan. So, how would I understand at a, um, a distinguish next time if I encounter the same mistake that I would know this is a real mistake. So, I wasn't well uh, um, explained kung bakit siya mali. So, next time, if I'm alone, I would know that this uh, situation or this something is wrong and hindi dapat ko gawin. So, yeah, this is what I'm saying that, that you have to explain to them. So, next time, uh, if they are alone in the world, not not literally, but what I mean in in kind of situations that they're alone and both parents are not there to advise them what to do at least they would know that this similar thing is wrong and i don't have to do it because if i do it my mom or my dad will get upset so you have to build this confidence for them to do the right decisions so i think um as i told you nobody's perfect we are bond to do mistakes all the time we are just a human being so even though let's say we are parents and we are more experienced on uh, any kind of uh, obstacles or situations that we face every day in our life but there are still room for us to learn we can even learn from our kids because I told you now they have a wider view of, of any kind of situation that they encounter so they would you know, you would be amazed kung paano sila mag-react. And you would learn from them. Like, for example, that uh, what happened to my kids before that, they are they are watching YouTube, they are watching um, a different kind of channels, but most of the channels that I see them watch is for kids and mga gaming channel. But the way how they interact or the way how they're talking nowadays iba na eh. para silang yung parang um hindi ko ma-explain yung parang so deep yung language nila so you would learn some new words even from them Sab sabihin ko where did you learn these kind of uh, conversation or words so may kasi i watch like for example hobby kids tv or ryan's toys review they have their own way of uh, talking uh, to their subscribers, to the viewers. So, ina adapt yung mga kids ko yung mga, which is a good thing because they're enhancing their language, they're enhancing their English skills and way of communication. So, from us as parents, we don't have those kind of things when we were younger. So, we learn these things from them. So, nakakatuwa naman talaga. Wag niyo silang unahan na sabihin, oy, wag niyo gawin yan kasi mali yan. They would get more and more curious on that thing. So, gagawin nila. So let them do it. Let them get uh, hurt or um, yung parang gagawa sila na mistake. Pero be there to pick them up if they need, you know, someone to to pick them up. So, yun na nga. Ang, ang, ang sinasabi ko is um, just leave them. Do or have their own experiences in life. Kasi kayo din nagkaroon kayo mga experiences when you were younger so it made you the person who who you are right now so let them have that face of life 
na may experience nila yung mga, mag, mga mali at mga tama. At doon nila malalaman kung bakit siya naging mali. So, at least it will be a lesson learned for them. So, um, yun nga po ang um, advices sa mga parents. I hope hindi siya harsh naman. It's just based on my experience and based of my experience being also a daughter of my of a single parent my mom is a single parent and she raised me all alone there were times talaga na nag struggle din ako na intindihin siya there are times din nag struggle lang mommy ko na intindihin niya yung needs ko uh, there were um yung parang gap uh, age gap between her and me sobrang sobrang laki she she sorry namatay I got low bad. But anyways, uh, as I was saying that my mom and me had a, a huge age gap. She she gave birth to me when she was in her 40, 40s, I think. So talagang sobrang um, gap ang age namin and the mentality as well. It's really uh, different because my mom came from a family with traditions and with specific you know perspective in life and for me i've uh, had um a different kind of life a lifestyle or life situation so hindi kami minsan nagtutugma or na communicate na maayos so it was really a, st a struggle and a, les a lesson learned for my side that i need to enhance para hindi maranasan yung mga kids ko ng ganon okay so since uh, it's mother's day special so we are going to talk about all the sacrifices na pagiging mommy. So pasensya na mga daddy sa June na po kayo magkakaroon ng vlog. <laughs> so ngayon uh, we're just going to talk strictly about mommies and um, yung mga sacrifices nila for their kids. Uh, actually uh, from day one na malaman kayo na pregnant kayo with your baby, that's the day that your sacrifices will start. Um, the nine month of being pregnant is not an easy job. A lot of uh, morning sickness, a lot of mood swings. Talagang kailangan um, maging ano kayo. Parang, you know, you would put aside everything and just focus on your pregnancy, on your baby. Uh, you have to always be healthy, hindi ka pwede maging stress. So, a lot of things na bawal mong gawin dati, you cannot do it do uh, during pregnancy. So, that's another sacrifice. So, pagka nagkaroon ng baby and you have your sleepless night with your own uh, newborn, and yung another thing is yung pagbabreastfeed, masakit din yun. So, uh, that also is another sacrifice of being a mom. Um, hindi lang gano, you have to be worried on your kids, on their well-being. 24 hours, hindi yan nawawala kahit even though you are sleeping, you feel that if there is something wrong with your kids, with your newborn, or with your babies, you will just wake up out of nowhere and check on them. So, parang may um, human or motherly alert sa katawan mo if you feel something that's wrong with your kid automatic kayo na gigising kayo at titingnan niyo yung mga anak niyo. Um, and now of course even you have to think about financial wise, budgeting everything para ma you know, you to make sure that your kids are having all the things that they need, the education that they need, not not only that, even the entertainment that they need. Um, it's uh, really you know, let's say that you're uh, before you when you have when when you don't have any kids, um, you are budgeting only for yourself and you're for your husband and that's it. Now ngayon hati hati na lahat when you have kids, whatever things that you used to buy for yourself, uh, it will be decreased dahil you have to think about uh, the needs of your uh, kids. So, you know, it's a lot of sacrifices. Not only that, even the time. Hindi lang financially wise, pati uh, time wise. Kasi before, when you don't have any kind of attachment to kids, you have all the time for yourself. Your me time, pwede kayong umalis, pwede kang gumala, pwede kang maggawa ng kahit ano for yourself. Pero since you have kids, that me time is 
you know, kung, let's say nga, nagmi-me time ka uh, five times a week, ngayon, naging two times or even one time, some of them, they don't have any me time at all dahil lahat na yun napupunta sa mga kids nyo. So, that is another sacrifice. So, yun po ang message po sa mga mommies there. Do your best for your kids. Don't give up. If you need some break or time off, kunin nyo yan kasi well-deserved well deserving yung me time nyo kasi ang dami yung ginawa for everyone it's time for for you to think about yourself for you to have your own me time and stuff like that okay so before i end this vlog i just want to greet some special mommies in my life syempre ang unang una ang aking mudra si nanay nelly happy mother's day po sa yo and to uh mommy les She's also the mother of Jao Urbano. So, happy Mother's Day po sa iyo, Mami Les. And sa mga kapatid ni Jao din na uh, mothers din po sila. Sila Ate Carla, Ate Lisa, si Dimple, and si Marielle. So, happy Mother's Day po. And also, another special mommy na gusto ko rin i-greet, si uh, Tita Nasiba. Uh, mommy po siya ni Raisa. So, happy Mother's Day. And also, sa isang... Um, uh, masasabi ko siya sa isang power mom din. Si Ate Esme, Happy Mother's Day. She's also uh, my st uh, sister-in-law. Palagi na ako na ano. So, she's my sister-in-law. Si Ate Esme, Happy Mother's Day po. And to my friends na naging mom, she din sila. Sila Okti Raisa, si uh, Ate Shane, si, um, si Twin, si uh, Nids, and si Charisse. Happy, Happy Mother's Day po. And also to my UBC family and bowling family na mom she din po sila. Happy, happy Mother's Day po sa inyo lahat. Ang dami-dami po, hindi ko na uh, iisa-isahin. Pero happy Mother's Day po sa inyo lahat. So also again, to all mothers out there. Mapa, mommy, nanay, mama, uh, nanay, and every uh, way of uh, calling them. Happy, happy Mother's Day po sa inyong lahat. It's your day. It's Mother's Day. So, sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe sa ating channel, The Urbanos, please do hit the subscribe button down below. And also, hit the notification bell for you to know if we have a new upload. Uh, don't forget also to thumbs up this video and share as well. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. And I uh, hope to see you again in my next vlog. Bye guys. Happy Mother's Day again. Mwah.